Your tongue is so sweet. Really? My tongue Swahili is so sweet. <laughs> Kim went from resting jealous face to eyes wide open. No, no, she did this. After Usman announces that he's considering marrying her. What you talking about, Will? Yes. If everything goes well, we plan to be together. Being together like getting married. Hey, maybe the gifts did work. Yes, right. No, 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 no. Oh, my. We're going to talk about it. Plus, my feelings are kind of hurt because Alina feels some type of way after Caleb doesn't show any affection during their first night together. I just wasn't feeling it. There's things getting in my head. I'm realizing our physical differences. And Johnny's friend, this one right here, makes an offensive joke about Ella's weight. I have struggled with being overweight since I was in kindergarten. Let's talk about it. Hey, 90 Day Fans fam, it's Melicia. Happy 2022. This year is gonna be good to you. <sighs> Corny, I know. But you better claim it. Mm. 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 All right, this season is finally warming up. I can already tell, it's about to get real. Did you spend the night in her room? Oh, uh, I did not spend the night in her room. The morning after Kim gifted Usman with the MacBook Pro and PS5, he tells his manager Badness and assistant Slam T he's catching feelings. She got me laptop. She got me the latest video game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, you're catching feelings. Uh... I must be. I, I do like I care about this woman. Slam T's silence? says it all. Hi, Kim. Hey! Fast forward to when Kimberly joins them. They start to discuss Usman's business meeting with East African rapper Rosarie. And for some odd reason, Usman felt the need to invite Kim. I guess to make good TV, because other than that, it makes no sense. No, 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 I'll bring Kimberly. But maybe Kimberly. you should go by yourself. Huh? Maybe you should go by yourself. Someone is, someone is pissed. No, I'm not pissed. It's Are fine. you sure? Yeah. But I think that that's, that, that'd be cool, though. Yes, that would be very cool, so To on. go alone? Good. No, I'm going with Kimbali. Right. OK. Yeah, I'm going with Kimbali. Why you breathe like that? <sighs> what's that? What's that about? Ooh, someone's in trouble. I don't know what's going to go down between Kim and Slam T by the end of this trip, but the tension has been building since the moment they met. Hi, super fun. <laughs> Don't call me that. Now Kim has this assumption that he and Badmus set up this meeting with Rosarie to try to sabotage her relationship with Usman. When really what they're probably trying to do is I mean, isn't that their job? A part of me is wondering if his team planned this on purpose, like to push me out of the way. So maybe they can show me like, hey, this is the kind of woman that Usman should be dating. If I do see any kind of like flirty, flirty thing going on with Usman and this chick, then I mean, I will get up. I'll flip the table and I'll walk out because I don't play that, so. Kim's talking about flipping a table over him flirting, yet she told her friends she would be okay with him having multiple wives. If Usman has multiple wives, I feel like that it's okay because I love him. Wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> I'm curious. 1931. That's the year I was born. <laughs> Kim had the jokes going into the restaurant for Usman's meeting, but her sense of humor didn't last long due to her anxiety about Rosary joining them. Maybe yeah, I should have just stayed at the hotel. Maybe I should have. Mm, yep. I feel like it's good if I should bring you because, like, if I leave you in the hotel, you feel like, okay, you are no, here because of me and I left you there. Maybe it would have been better. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you're getting this different because, like, you shouldn't be this up. Okay. You shouldn't be because, like, you know who is coming. You know why she's coming. I don't know her. Okay. I've never met her. Ooh, Usman. The look. Okay. He then proceeds to ignore her. Usman. Usman. I know you hear me. I know you hear me. Lucky for Usman, Kim keeps her composure. But then enters Rosary, who I must say seems like a super cool chick. Now, Usman does flirt with her a little bit at first. What is Maji? Maji is water. He compliments her accent. Your tongue is so sweet. Really? My Swahili tongue is so sweet. But it's harmless. Although, understandably, it makes Kim feel uncomfortable. 
I know this is a business meeting, but damn, I literally feel like a third wheel right now. You know, she's beautiful, she's young, and I'm sitting over here like, am I the grandma in the group, or you know, what's going on? I really want to have like dancers because no I would like to have dancers. No problem at all. Yeah. After Usman and Rosarie talk business, so I know why you're here. Uh huh. Oh, why is Kim here? Rosa gets to the big question, because let's not forget, this is her business meeting too. She had no clue Kim would be there. But I appreciate the way she handles it. She cuts straight to the chase and also makes sure Kim feels seen. Oh, why is Kim here? Just to look pretty? I will tell you what, she, she happened to be a fan. And we've been talking to each other for long and like we having this spirit that we want to see each other, you know? Oh, you haven't, you haven't This actually... is the first time with me. Except for like video, you know, video chat oh, and all wow. that. Oh, wow. We're here and we're getting to know each other. So, She's a fan and more. Yeah, fan and more, I love that. A fan with potential. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> Rosarie asked Usman what Kim has the potential of becoming. And compared to how he reacted to Kim booking herself the honeymoon suite because she has intentions. It kind of too much because like, I'm not a boyfriend yet. His next answer is a shock. If everything goes well, we plan to be together. Mm -hmm. So we end up getting, being together, like getting married. Kim's heart just soared through the roof. That is so beautiful. Yeah, yeah, that's if things go well. No, no she did this. <laughs> I was yeah, expecting but you to say no, all that. No, the truth is. Oh, wow. But like, why is he, why does he have a grin like a? He is you know, blushing. He is blushing. <laughs> oh, now you're <laughs> blushing. I know, wow. I know, I know, okay. I know. <laughs> Usman hasn't really mentioned marriage to me before. So to hear Usman say this to Rosary, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> it really blew my mind. Mine too. I just hope he's not playing. I'll be honest, y'all. At this point, I have no clue what Usman is doing. He's hard to read. I don't know if it was the gifts that gave him that extra push or if he might really be in some more mature women. It could be one of those tried it once, now I like it scenarios. I don't know. I just hope he understands what these words. So we end up getting, being together, like getting married. Sound like to a woman who is extremely into you. I ain't going nowhere, you ain't going nowhere. Now her hopes are probably here. It really blew my mind. All right, moving on to 27-year-old Alina from Russia and 28-year-old Caleb from Arizona. I think you look great, but you're smaller than I thought. Oh, uh, is it weird for you? Like... It's different. These two decided to meet for the first time in Turkey. Wait, is it just me or is that cat huge? That's a big cat. Anyway, back to Alina and Caleb. They decided to meet in Turkey after talking online and over the phone for 13 years. But during their first night together, Caleb chose not to be affectionate with Alina. And he was honest about why. We didn't have sex, didn't even kiss. I just wasn't feeling it. There's things getting in my head. I'm realizing our physical differences. And I was really tired from this trip. It's not the ideal setup for magic to happen. What he's saying is understandable, but thankfully Alina is a strong, confident woman who knows who she is. Yes, Caleb's lack of affection the first night hurt. We always wanted to meet each other and to do stuff with each other, and then it finally happens and he just does nothing. Like, it's illogical. But she's being patient and still giving him an opportunity to warm up to her. Mm. It's nice hugging you finally. Yeah. Yeah. So it's worth the wait? I don't know yet. I do feel like he's warming up to me a little bit. He's got big arms, which kind of like fit all around me. And I feel so small and, I don't know, protected. And he has a really nice body. And it's fun to touch him and, yeah, want to touch more. <laughs> now enters Alina's best friend, Elijah who joined her on the trip and is dedicated to protecting her at all costs. Well, 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 well. Finally. <laughs> For a number of reasons, he's having some major doubts about Caleb being the man that Alina deserves and needs in her life, which is rubbing Caleb the wrong way. Did you kiss her at least? 
We did not kiss, man. My first impression of Caleb uh, isn't that good. He didn't even kiss her last night. It's really weird for me. I feel like he's being divisive and putting issues where there's not. As the day goes on, these two clash even more, especially after Elijah notices that Caleb is not that much of a gentleman, in his opinion. Oh, I want to go up here and check out the second floor. You want to come up here, Lena? No. There's only a few steps. Do you want me to carry you? I can wait here. OK, we won't be too long, OK? OK. Enjoy your company, then. My company is best company. You know, Caleb, uh, some things will be a little hard with Lena because uh, maybe she don't want to go somewhere. Maybe it's just uncomfortable for her. So you need to really get used to it and uh, respect it. Well, she seemed to be fine waiting down below. The guy who wants to be near such a beautiful woman like Alina is needs to treat her like a queen. But I didn't see uh, that much from Caleb today. Can I have a friend like Elijah? I know some of you might think he's doing the most, but that's a genuine friend. And they don't come by that often. I have to notice that you fulfill your glass first, not hers. And you don't even have an He's invitation. He's American. Americans to... usually are not gentlemen. I wish somebody would have told me that a long time ago. So good choice, Alina. I mean, I'm not. It's not my fault. He's American. Although Alina's time with Caleb started off a bit rocky, after Elijah leaves and allows them to be alone, Alina finally gets that kiss plus more. Oh my God. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> well, hey there. Hi. You know, I spoke to Alina before the season started about being the first little person in the 90 Day franchise. And she educated me on a lot, including the term ableism which is the discrimination of and social prejudice against people with disabilities. I'll be honest, I've never heard that term until she mentioned it. And I know I'm probably not alone. So I want to share with you what she had to say. For some reason, there is not much talk about ableism mm. uh, and how people can say uh, degrading things about those who have disabilities. Maybe something can change with the show because more people would know that it's not okay to, I don't know, shame someone for their height mm -hmm. or for like using a wheelchair or something. Last but not least. My name is Johnny. I'm 34 years old. As Johnny is in the process of making plans to leave China and travel to Idaho to meet his cosplay queen Ella in person, he sits down with his friends for lunch. And he has a clap back at this one for making fun of Ella's weight. It's always the one that shouldn't say something that says something. His comments were unnecessary. At least Johnny and Ella are getting some action. Do you think that we will be able to have some fun, sexy time with the wigs? What do you think? Yeah, that's great. Moving on. If you thought Johnny was using Ella to get to America, this episode might change your mind. I just really want to meet her. He reveals all he's sacrificing just to spend three months with her. Right now, I'm working in a electrical car manufacturer. If he gets his travel visa within the next week, he plans on quitting his job. Mind you, he is the sole breadwinner of his family, and he would also have to leave his son Stoney behind with his parents, which is his main concern. But I have worry about Stoney for him. That time, in my hospital, he may need my help. 
and uh, because like COVID, flights from America to China are uh, very few, very limited. So once I fly out, it's gonna be a big challenge to fly back. That's a problem. Yeah, I know that. That that's scary. Yes. I feel it's uh, such hard、uh, decision to be so far away from my son. I'm、uh, really so nervous about that. But Johnny says Ella has helped him through some of his darkest days, and he's lonely. So getting to her is worth the risk. I know that Johnny is risking a lot to come over here to be with me, and sometimes I really worry that he might decide that I'm not worth all the sacrifice. And that is really terrifying to me because I definitely have put a lot of my eggs in this one basket.、Mm. Well, next week it looks like Johnny is going to hit some roadblocks, including his parents, who aren't so fond about him leaving. Yes, it's just you one call, but you go long, I mean, you call, I just say, you just take two rooms in our house. Once I fly to United States, it's going to be hard for support my parents. I hope I'm making the right decision. What? What's wrong, Ella? What's happening? I am worried. This is the first step to him never being able to make it to the United States. In the past, there have been 90-day couples who never actually end up coming together. I wonder is that going to be Ella and Johnny? We'll see. All right, 90 Day fans, fam. Make sure you stick with ET because we are covering it all. I will see you next time.